everyone, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is HP Lovecraft. So the question is, hi Lynn, this is a suggestion for a blog reading. It's about American writer of horror fiction. His novels and role-playing games derived from literature, even video games, movies, and etc. have been popular at least since 1980. He spoke about forbidden, dark, esoterically veiled knowledge about non-human influences on humanity, even the civilization under threat and religion and superstition so he's covered it all here where did you get the inspiration for his work did he have external et influences i think he was very conscious about the dark energies or the dark side of the human mind and why is it so popular nowadays i mean hp lovecraft and his kind of horror stories in general i guess we're attached to his novels and games because we feel there are many real and dark energies that we don't fully understand yet such as phobias dark entities mind controlled telepathic powers secret societies thank you so when i first focused on him on hp i see this very reserved somewhat awkward man and very inward thinking if he were in public in, in a public situation he looks like he would be observant of people their mannerisms and pay attention to the various conversations i see this would apply to events or even something as simple as running an errand at the corner store. He looks to notice everything about people and especially paid attention to their stories. Just sat back. He was one of those people. He didn't always interject. He didn't always have something to say. He didn't always have to have his opinion out there, but he would just sit and observe and analyze what people were talking about. He also seemed to be very quiet and his mind is always taking things in. And when he had time alone, he would reflect and ponder various things. He seems philosophical, very interested in alternative ideas. So the stranger the idea, the stranger the story, he was all about that. Things pertaining to the supernatural and metaphysical were one of his greatest interests. I get that he would think a great deal about a topic before ever beginning to put it on paper. An idea could percolate for several days, even several weeks before he would consider even writing it down. In many ways, this was like a constant meditation that evolved and then it would create this inspirational idea. I also get that a form of the law of attraction was always at play with him. He would think and sometimes obsess about an idea or a thought that he had, and it would almost draw things upon himself. He could, it could be something dark, it could be heavy, or even lead him to a group of people that either practiced or had knowledge of the darker arts, which completely fascinated him. It was as, if the more he didn't understand something, the more curious he was, and in turn his curiosity would eventually be answered in one way or another, because it was like the law of attraction was drawing the answers his way, whether it was through a person, a story, event, an experience. It didn't matter, but it seemed like it always came full circle for him. He even started to lucid dream. I got a lot of things came to him in his dreams, and he would re interact with some of the darker energies. Oddly, he wasn't scared of them, though. He used these experiences to create storylines and plots, but I don't feel any kind of underlying fear. He didn't, he didn't ha have fear against these beings. I'm not sure the right words to use, but HP feels like a very interesting, for sure, individual. He himself feels harmless, but there was definitely this darker side. And the fact that he would draw so much negativity and darkness onto himself, even though he wasn't afraid of it, I felt like it could be really uncomfortable and I'm not sure I would want to be in his company. So that was kind of a strange way to end it, I know, but that was my take, my overall impression of doing a reading on him. So that was really all I had. I want to thank you for listening. Please feel free to leave a comment. Maybe, maybe you love his work. Maybe you know more about it and you'd like to leave your opinion as well. I'd be really curious to know your thoughts. Uh, again, thanks for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, all those things. They help me out a lot. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thanks. Bye.